The DJI Mini 4 Pro is stupidly impressive. 4K 100 frames per second, omnidirectional obstacle avoidance system, 360 degree automatic tracking, true vertical filming, D-Log M color profile, and HDR in 4K 60 frames per second. These sound like the specs from the more expensive Air and Mavic lineups, but they're not. It comes all packaged up in a 249 gram little beast of a drone. What else? Large angle filming capabilities with that unique low point of view. 04 full HD video transmission up to 20 kilometers. Now the Mini 4 Pro is classed as an entry-level drone marketed for travel photography and videography because of its obvious size and weight. But with the advancements that DJI have made over the last few years means what you're actually getting is a much more versatile professional higher-end drone but with the cost of the entry-level flying cameras. So if you're just starting out with the Mini series you'll be hitting the ground running with the incredible footage coming out of the Mini 4 Pro or if you're upgrading from older versions of the Mini lineup, then you're gonna be getting significant improvements in flying capabilities, and of course that 4K camera with 100 frames per second, HDR, night shots, and of course that all-important omnidirectional obstacle avoidance system, which until now has only been available on the Air and the Mavic lineup. Did you hold this, Bab? Yes. Oh my gosh, it's so light. And it's tiny. Hello, little one. Now you'll notice a few upgrades to the actual physical design of the Mini 4 Pro, notably the fisheye lenses to the front and to the rear, along with the sensors underneath makes up the complete omnidirectional obstacle avoidance system, which basically means you have protection in all directions. Pretty incredible to now have this feature on the Mini lineup because let's face it, it's the beginners and entry level flyers that are going to benefit most from having the confidence to fly creatively with the new safety feature. Well done DJI. It also means that the drone can perform intelligent return home flights, meaning that the Mini 4 Pro can automatically plan an optimized flight route back to you without bumping into anything. <laughs> you clever little sausage. So one of the key selling features alongside the omnidirectional obstacle avoidance system is the new Active Track 360 degrees, which has enhanced tracking capabilities. And what this does is auto recognize a subject once the drone has lost you and then replan the tracking route. In this case, me in amongst these trees. So let's see how well the Mini 4 Pro handles dodging the forest. So let's select a subject by drawing a rectangle around me. So let's go for a walk. Maybe behind this tree. And the Mini has lost the subject. Nope, it's found me again. How about behind this one? Nope, can't fool this little guy. Peekaboo, and he's found me again. Really impressive first attempt at trying to flummox the Mini 4 Pro, all the while avoiding the trees. So let's try this on a mountain bike, so we've got a bit more speed, and I'll do follow from behind, and see if it keeps up. Loads of big trees around here, so this should be a good test. Let's test this out on the wife and see if it recognizes her front. And boom. Let's go to her right side. How about tracing from her back to the front while walking? And you can see the tracing follows her counterclockwise while avoiding the tree and repositioning itself. 
and finally tracing to high front position. We still have the incredible 1 over 1.3 inch sensor which is found on quite a few DJI products including the Air 3, but unlike the more expensive drone, this one has a few more tricks up its sleeve. Notably, the true vertical filming feature, which can accommodate the ever popular social media style of filming. With true vertical filming, you don't have to crop in from a 16 by nine piece of footage and ultimately lose valuable pixel information. We get to keep all of that glorious 4K resolution. And it's really easy to execute with this dedicated button on the screen next to the record button or on the back of the controller using C2. As well as true vertical filming, if you're upgrading from say the Mini 1 and 2, we now have what's called the low angle tilting feature, where if you turn the wheel on the left of the RC controller, we can get those really unique low POV shots. And it's quite a tilt, let me tell you. Now one of the big achievements on the Mini 4 Pro is the ability to shoot 100 frames per second slow motion in 4K. Mm. Its predecessor, the Mini 3 Pro, could only manage 60 frames per second, so it is an improvement. We can now achieve cinematic footage with real wow factor. I can't tell you how much I love the look of 100 frames per second. Could they have squeezed an extra 20 to make it up to that standard 120 frames per second? Maybe but that'll no doubt be reserved for the Mini 5 Pro next year. Gotta save something in the tank, right? Now talking about this one over 1.3 inch sensor, which we're seeing a lot now on DJI products like the Action 4, I just made a video about that. I'll pop links in the description. This is able to achieve 48 megapixel stills raw images, which is incredible for such a dinky little thing. We also have that thoroughly professional D-Log M color profile in 10 bit. So if you know how to color grade properly in say DaVinci Resolve, or Premiere Pro, you're gonna create some very pro looking cinematic footage. I mean, this thing is insane. Three or four years ago, you'd be paying double, triple for the kind of specs that you're getting with the Mini 4 Pro. And while we're on that subject, let's look at the specification rundown for the Mini 4 Pro. Firstly, maximum flight time being 34 minutes. That's no improvement over the Mini 3 Pro, unfortunately, but we are talking about the Mini series where 249 grams is key. More battery means more weight. You can extend the battery life to 45 minutes with the Intelligent Flight Battery Plus if you can get your hands on one in the UK and Europe very tricky because of the class rating. Maximum flight speed in sport mode is 35 miles per hour, although I would recommend being out in the open in this mode for a safe flight. Ascent and descent speed are the same at 11 miles per hour, and most importantly with the smaller aircraft, wind resistance, 24 miles per hour. Check out this tree behind us. It's absolutely blowing all over the place. It's like a gale here. I would say probably about 30 kilometers an hour. I just had the Mini 4 Pro up in the air. It was flapping around, but I didn't get any warnings on the controller. So that's pretty impressive. All of the aircraft's flying specs are the same as the Mini 3 Pro, which kind of indicates that room for improvement on a drone weighing 249 grams is maxing out. But let's see what the future brings. Maximum transmission distance between controller and drone has improved from 12 kilometers to 20 kilometers with the new O4 transmission and the new RC2 controller. Let's take a look at night filming. Setting the ISO manually to 800 and the footage is pretty clean because of the dual native ISO. However, if we use the dedicated night mode now available on the Mini 4 Pro, which adopts a multi-scale noise reduction algorithm, we end up with even cleaner, vibrant night shots with glorious 4K detail. So there you have it guys. I don't know how much better these mini drones from DJI are going to get in the future. Pushing the limits of technology into a little 249 gram device is a staggering achievement. 4K resolution is impressive enough on its own without adding 100 frames per second into the mix. And that professional D-Log M color profile, what next? Apple ProRes? Maybe. The all-round omnidirectional obstacle avoidance system once found in the Air and Mavic lineup, now available on the Mini series. It does make you wonder if we'll even need the bigger, more expensive drones this time next year. Why carry around a heavier device when you can put this little beauty in your back pocket? 
Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I've got a headshot photography course available, so if you're interested in improving your portrait skills, then there are over 50 videos and five hours of training on the course. I've also got a Lightroom preset pack. I'll pop all of those links in the description below, and I'll catch you on the flip side.